Welcome to a new RKB Bearing Industries educational video, where it will be presented the main technical specifications of the most popular multi-row cylindrical roller bearings manufactured by RKB. The RKB Bearing Industries Group produces many different types of multi-row cylindrical roller bearings with many features available in order to satisfy even the most sophisticated customer needs. Our multi-row cylindrical roller bearings cover most of the requirements in various standard and special industrial applications in severe and critical conditions. We specialize in providing adequate technical solutions by selecting the proper bearings according to our experienced engineers and proprietary in-house developed software systems for advanced calculations and evaluation. All RKB bearings have a proper identification code. The code of our multi-row cylindrical roller bearings is composed of three different parts. The prefix, that can be R for outer assembly only, that is multi-row bearings without inner rings, L for inner rings only, or nothing for complete bearings. The basic code, which does not follow the ISO rules, since we are dealing with technological custom bearings. And a suffix. Let's see more in detail how the RKB suffix system for multi-row cylindrical roller bearings works. The first part is made up of one or more letters that indicate the bearing type, design of the cage, number of rings. The second part, a number, specifies if the bearing has or not an annular groove on the outer ring. The third part, a letter, refers to the presence and position of the grooves in the bearing. Only in the inner ring, only in the outer ring, or in both of them. The fourth part of the code, a combination of letters and numbers, indicates all the additional features of the bearing, like thermochemical treatments, special designs, and so on. Noteworthy is the feature marked with the letter A, which means the possibility to supply the inner ring with a suitable grind stock to allow the tuning of the bearing clearance by a final grinding process. As you can see, multi-row cylindrical roller bearings are basically composed of at least one inner ring, one or two outer rings, two or more cages, and four, six, or eight rows of rollers. In fact, to attain a high radial load capacity, these bearings are designed to include a larger number of rollers. To provide an easy mounting and dismounting process, the multi-row cylindrical roller bearings manufactured by the RKB group are designed as separable parts. These bearings are available with the different internal clearances C2, CN, C3 and C4. If the application requires a heavy radial load capacity and an average rolling speed, RKB can also offer full complement cylindrical roller bearings which allow for an increased number of rollers than the equivalent cage to version. In most cases, Multi-row cylindrical roller bearings are used in the steel and aluminium industries, where heavy impact loads, vibrations, high temperatures, and harsh environments are quite common. To satisfy the requirements of any application, RKB produces many different designs of multi-row rolling bearings, whose main technical features, in terms of rings, rollers and cages are summarized in this table. The A to D design bearing is composed of two outer rings, one inner ring, two roller guided cages, 
and four rows of rollers. The two cages are double pronged and brass made. The C2C execution is made up of two outer rings, two inner rings, two double pronged roll guided cages, and four rows of rollers. The D2C multi row bearings are composed of two outer rings, two inner rings, two loose flange rings, one intermediate ring, two roller guided cages, and four rows of rollers. The two cages are double pronged and brass made. As you can see, this execution is completely different from the previous ones due to the presence of loose flange rings and one of the intermediate ring which facilitate mounting and dismounting. The next geometry is the F2C in the EVO version. The bearings of this family are made up of two outer rings and two inner rings, two loose flange rings, one intermediate ring, four cages, and four rows of rollers. The four cages are window type and composed of two different parts cage base and cage cover, brass made and connected by rivets. This cage has been developed by RKB to optimize the lubrication process and get better operating accuracy, longer life and noise and vibration reduction. RKB can also provide the F2C design with pierced rollers. The G2B execution encompasses two outer rings and two inner rings. The window type cages are machined brass and composed of two different parts, cage base and cage cover, connected by rivets. The window type cage is recommended in all those applications where the outer assembly is mounted from the inner ring by an automatic changing device because the roller drop is reduced to facilitate the mounting procedure. As you can see, this configuration presents alternately arranged long, short rollers to ensure a better pressure distribution and correspondingly an increased life of the bearing. For further information on this specific design, please refer to the related educational video. Finally, the bearings of the Q2AC family in the EVO version are composed of two outer rings, two inner rings, of which one is wider with concentric shoulder, two loose flange rings and one intermediate ring. The four cages are window type and made up of a base and a cover, closed by rivets. As you can easily observe, there is a helical groove in the bearing bore, useful if the inner ring is mounted with a loose fit on the shaft to facilitate the mounting and dismounting procedures. This feature is available for all of the executions. Also in this case, RKB can provide the Q2AC execution with pierced rollers. 
The features of the single families of RKB multi-row cylindrical roller bearings are explained in detail in the technical pitch provided to our customers. These documents report all the necessary technical information regarding the main boundary dimensions, the values of the basic dynamic and static load ratings, the additional surface and heat treatments, and so on. Furthermore, the RKB group produces other configurations of multi-row cylindrical roller bearings, among which the cylindrical roller bearings with six rows of rollers, the set of two NNU cylindrical roller bearings, and the full complement NNUV bearings, available with four, six, and eight rows of rollers. These configurations, especially the six-row cylindrical roller bearings and the full complement ones are characterized by an increased radial load capacity and therefore provide longer fatigue lives compared to standard products. In conclusion, in light of the 500 different part numbers engineered, from below 100 up to 900 mm bore and over 3 tons of unit mass, the RKB group can rely on a long-standing experience in designing and manufacturing multi-row cylindrical roller bearings. For any additional information on this type of products, do not hesitate to contact our technical department. For a deepening of the material processes and thermochemical treatments used in our manufacturing plants, Please refer to the related RKB educational videos.